everybody, it's Michelle here again. I've got another mini that I've made for a Christmas present. This one was uh, my daughter decided that the books were quite cool and she'd love to give them to her friends. So she asked me to make four of them for her friends. And this is uh, one of the four. This is a um, sh shabby vintage purple, maybe, you can call it. Um, I've just um, used the paper line here and uh, created a, a flower with the Tim Holtz tattered florals, which I'm getting for Christmas and Father Christmas kindly let me play with it before the big day. So um, I could make one, and I really love it, it's going to be a lot of fun. I uh, just did a duct tape binding on the end and made a super simple envelope mini, which you will see. Um, it, I wanted to make these quite simple because as I said I was making four of them and, and time was uh, starting to struggle on so this one's nearly done. It's going to be really, it's not embellished at all but it's going to have a few light embellishments but not too much. My daughter's going to put pictures in it to give to her friends. So I've just created um, lots of contrast with the paper and the paper is in my mind's eye and it's a really old one. Um, the good thing about being new to this this game is that all the papers are new to me. Um, and But it's actually called um, Girl 2009, so it might not be around much anymore. But it's got these lovely uh, vintage papers and really pretty colours and things. So uh, the only thing I had to go on for this was my daughter said, oh, she likes purple, so purple it is. So um, just taking the purple and then just a touch of green in the paper that I chose to all go together and made this envelope mini, another really super simple mini for um, newbies. So um, if you haven't, if you're watching videos and you haven't made anything yet, this is a really good easy thing to make. That's the um, envelope is just folded around there and so that creates a pocket here and a pocket here. So really, really good thing to make. And if you haven't um, come across it yet, there's lots of really great envelope tutorials um, with Laura on following the paper trail. That's uh, where I started and it got these these ones from. So just made some little bands to slide some photos behind and some more tags and then these tags all come out of the pockets at the end and uh, they've all got just little contrast bands at the top to, just to make them a bit more interesting. And they all go through there. So really nice simple little mini and uh, nearly, nearly finished but I need to film it today because my son's here and I am completely hopeless. I filmed three videos and managed to make them so blurry that you couldn't see anything in them at all. So I need to make them when my son's around because he's the, the film expert. So super simple envelope mini, uh, really, really cute, really pretty with all the purples. And then I made another one for another friend of my daughter's. And this one is another really good easy page and I'll put a link up to this, I think it's Lake Avenue Designs that did this uh, page and I'm really fond of these really simple pages as you'll see. Um, another uh, flower made with the Tim Holtz um, tattered floral dye, love it. And so this one's really simple as well, uh, there's the, the page, one piece of paper there and fold it up and just slightly rearranged to um, for me because I um, decided I wanted all the tabs to go at the end but um, really great quick and simple way and I quite liked just using the, the fact that all the paper's plain and the other side's white but it gives it quite a bit of freshness and um, then just wrapped it around with the bows and then all the little tags are all different patterns inside so there's a couple of photos that are going to go in here so that's why they're quite simple and um, just got some flowery, flowery tags to go in here and as I said my daughter's going to be sticking photos on all of these. Oops, I've lost a tag. And um, got a couple more bits and pieces to go in different places. But another really simple one and uh, it, it just binds itself. So if you, um, when you cut out this, the page, you create this pocket and this pocket and then that tab comes across and joins to your previous page. So it's a really good, quick, easy one to bind and a really good, quick, easy one to get three pockets out of. And uh, that's all it is. Really simple. Really simple and really pink. So this was for a friend who likes pink and girly. So we had a pink and girly one and we had a purple one. So that's two more. 
two more Christmas presents done. So hopefully they will really like them and I uh, hope you like them too. Thanks for watching and uh, if you've got any questions please ask and love to hear from you, love your comments and hope you're all having a wonderful holiday season. Thank you. Bye now.